New at 9, it's a day of remembrance for the lives lost at the New London School explosion 85 years ago. Fox 51's Deontay Maroney spoke to a survivor. She shares his story in her report. It's emotional. I can't talk about it much. Billy Jack Honeycutt was four years old when a natural gas explosion took 294 lives at the New London School. Hundreds of people gathered for a ceremony honoring the men, women, and children who died in 1937. Out of everyone in attendance, there were only two survivors in the crowd. I was in the gymnasium when it blew. Honeycutt says had there been a slightest change of plans that day, he wouldn't be here today. We had previously been in the main building here in the auditorium. It was a PTA meeting. There was too many people, so before it started, they evacuated us all out to the gym and there was more room. And about the time it was over with is when the school blew up. Fighting tears, Honeycutt tells us he lost his cousin that day and his life has never been the same. Every now and then, someone will ask me about it and I tell the story. But I, uh, I get very emotional about it. After the ceremony, alumni from classes as far back as 1940 gathered to reunite and pay tribute to those who lost their lives. Deontay Marini, Fox 51 News. And this tragedy is what led to chemicals being added to natural gas to create a strong smell, which acts now as a warning that as a leak is present.